everyone, this is Lawless Loss, and welcome back to Jade Empire. It has been a long time since I made an episode, too long. Um, but, I, I tried to record this episode earlier, and uh, I don't know what happened, but it didn't record well. So, I actually, that, that episode would have been pretty bad, because I didn't know what to do. If you can recall in the last episode, I did not uh, remember how to get Shin out of his hiding with uh, taking everyone out out of their places and stuff like that, but now I do. So what we're going to want to do first is we're going to go deal with his slave shipment, which is actually out here. It took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes to get, like, even this close in the last episode, so it would have taken, like, 30 minutes, and I didn't really get very far. So hopefully I can pack more into this um, with a little bit more preparation, but... Yeah, it's been too long since I made an episode. I've been busy with school, and then also I've been playing uh, a lot of the game Killing Floor, um, which I got on Steam over spring break, and have played the absolute shit out of it. But here we go. These are our slaves. Stand aside, or risk the ire of the Lotus Assassins. These prisoners must be delivered to the fortress to be inspected by Master Shin. I will not allow you to make me late. <laughs> uh, I can't allow you this delivery to take place. And why is that? Keep your reason short, or you'll be dead before you're done. Um, kill them and get more. No, we're not gonna do that. Uh, sure, we'll lie to her. I'm an acolyte. I'll deliver the slaves to gain favor. A mere acolyte will steal my work to gain favor. What are you? One of Gong's little children? I serve Master Shin, and I do not take orders from acolytes. Uh, let's see. Let's do inti in uh, intimidation, intuition. Your master has enemies. You need other allies. You fail to convince me of anything except your impudence, acolyte. I will not accept this. I'm kind of surprised that we didn't pass that. Defend yourself, fool. I will suffer this delay no longer. All right, all right. Let's fight. Let's fight. So here we go, we just gotta kick her ass, and uh, we can let these slaves go free if we want. I don't know what just happened there, I just like, I guess there was a slip and slide behind me or something? Not quite sure. Um, we can take this girl out though, pretty easily, hopefully. It has been a while since I tried to record that episode, it's been like two or three days, so. I mean, that's not a really long time, but I, I it's been, you know, a a whole maybe half an hour's worth of gameplay in the last, you know, two and a half, three weeks. So I'm, I'm not completely up to snuff. I'm not at max, uh, max form, as, as they would say, and on the pitch, in the Premier League maybe, Wayne Rooney style, but, you know, I, I can handle myself, I guess. Master, are you taking us to the Lotus Assassins? Uh, get in camera, please, and yeah. No, you're free. What? Get out of here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I knew someone would stop them. Someone kind and honest. That's me, good old kind and honest sweaty honk. Be safe. Now go. A charitable act. I'm impressed. You Thank are a retard. Because it wasn't that much of a charitable act. Because I'm doing this to kill somebody. So, balls to you, my good friend Sky. So let's go ahead and go back. We have to clear out the merchant that is down there. We have to um, clear out... There's like another Lotus Assassin down there who's kind of... Well, you guys will see. He's like working on a spell, I guess, if I remember right. Basically, he, he uses fire, and it, that's not good. I mean could set the whole place on fire. I mean, I know it's made out of stone, but you gotta be careful. I'm sure there's some wood. I, I mean, bones are probably not incredibly flammable, but they can catch fire. There's some tarps or drapes, or I, I don't know what you would call that, but you know, that's gonna catch on fire. This guy's still dead over here. Um, do we talk to this person? Ah, are you the uh, yeah. student I am waiting for? I can't delay any longer. I cannot miss the window of opportunity for a summoning. As I was saying, golems are playthings, devoid of cunning. 
The latest stockpile stands idle, waiting for a jade golem to make them useful. The waste. I will show Grand Inquisitor Gia that tapping the spirit realm for servants is more efficient. Witness as I effortlessly summon an able minion from the void. Uh, what preparations have you made? There are hardly any preparations needed, Acolyte. They want to serve. They tell me so. Golems want nothing. Fair enough. Watch and learn. Ukir sitaka wuwir, wosayir yufraun. What are you doing to them? Oh my gosh. No, no, this isn't right. Destroy them. Oh no, 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 no. He summoned them. And now they're mad. What? And who could have guessed that summoning spirits would end badly for somebody? Literally unbelievable. I can't stand for this. Oh my goodness, we must kill them quickly, because that's what we did. That one's already dead. Um, take on this acolyte. That that was a spirit, I guess. I don't know, he's standing there. He said he was going to use spirits, but that looks like a full living acolyte. I don't know, maybe he killed him, and then, and then tried to bring him back to life immediately. Not quite sure. You, you saw nothing of this. Nothing. I... I have to continue my research before Gia knows of my failure. Oh, I know it can work. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, buddy. Well, all we needed was that guy out of the way. Um, we could talk to the merchant first, but we have to talk. We have to get something from him to get these guys to go away. So, we'll talk what to these guys first. Another acolyte feeling their way around in the dark. It's not really that dark, bro. It takes some time for their eyes and skin to adjust. For the first few weeks, they're as easy to kill as newborn kittens. What do you want, Acolyte? We've done our work for the day and don't want to be disturbed. Unless the press is broken, leave us. Okay, jeez. Uh... What could cause a machine as sophisticated as the press to break down? You are right to marvel at its stability. It is a machine in balance. Only errors of its operators have damaged it before. Several foolish acolytes were killed for damaging it. It's not so hard to use properly. All you do is work the crane and occasionally add phoenix oil to the material selector. Oh, that's it? The measure of oil has been wrong too often. Kia Jong gives it out too freely. I will see to it that your kind are only given pre-measured containers of it. Uh, where does it come from? What is phoenix oil? Gong needs to better train his acolytes. You were obviously rushed through the initiation process. N no. Phoenix oil is a viscous liquid that burns at an incredible temperature. It heats the press to cure the golem husks. Oh, okay. If there's too much in the machine, it burns too hot. Too little and the golems crumble. The merchant brings the oil from the craftsman of the Golden Delta. Okay, um... I'll talk to you in a minute. Us, acolyte. If I remember right, we can go get some phoenix oil, like she said, from the merchant, and maybe deter them. Uh, do you have any phoenix oil? Um, I need you out of the hall. I need this hall cleared, move to another room. Whoa, dude, calm down. Perhaps I could persuade you to move? That's a long way to say I don't see how. Uh, intuition, considered an investment. The power structure here is about to... Change. Okay, alright, so there we go, we got him out of the way. And if 
I remember right, we can convince these guys to leave too, now that we have the Phoenix Oil, so that they don't have anything to worry about. What do you want now, Acolyte? Unless the press is damaged, you have no reason to speak with us. Uh, let's see... I need everyone out of the hall. That is unfortunate, because the needs of an Acolyte are of little concern. Our tasks are done for the day, but Grand Inquisitor Gia could request us at any time. We must be ready to respond if the Golem Press malfunctions. It's not gonna malfunction. Nothing short of her order or an emergency repair will move us. Step away, Acolyte. You are of no concern to us. Come on, you can leave. Uh... Let's see. I think if I say that, then they'll just, like, get mad and try to fight me. If we must, what do you want? Hmm... What are my options? Wow, that, all it unlocked was, I need everyone out of the hall, and <laughs> what is your purpose here? Let's go ahead and ask this, though. Keep the Golem Press functioning. Without us, the machines could not keep up the ambitious pace that Grand Inquisitor Gia has set. It takes two minds, two pairs of hands to control the inner structures of the press. You fools just see the controls. Inside the machines, it is impossibly complex. Okay, calm down, jeez. Uh, sure, we'll just say this again. I don't care. Uh, you test my patience. This was not a request. We'll go ahead and ask this again real quick. See if there's another option. Uh, no, we'll just have to do this. You test my patience. Acolytes of your petty master. You have no authority over us. Unless you are challenging two full Lotus assassins to combat, you should step back. I'm not trying to challenge you. Uh, sure, I'll just kill you. You are foolish, Acolyte. You invite death for no reason. You underestimate my power. Be it. You'll learn the hard way. I have the high ground. I mean, for Christ's sake. I'm sweaty freaking Hong. Learn the name, because you're going to be feeling the pain. That's, that's sweaty Hong's new motto. Learn the pain, or learn the name, or you'll be feeling the pain. Learn the pain, or you'll be feeling the name. That would make a lot more sense. I think that's much more Sweaty Hong style. Learn the pain. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's just finish this woman off. Please. Come on, Sky. Kill her. You can do it. She probably, like, killed your daughter or something. No, she, I'm sure she didn't. Um... I think that's everyone out of here now. Let's go ahead and take this. Might as well. I don't know why the golems are like that. They're looking at me. It's kind of weird. Inactive my ass. They all turn towards me. That's kind of scary. Um, so, now all we have to do is take the guy out of the golem press room, which is not that hard to do. Um, all we have to do is say that he's a big dummy. And he'll be like, oh, no, don't say that. That hurt my feelings. Wah, wah, wah. Because that's what he does. He's a giant babby. Um, and we can also do something that will uh, help us in the future. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, we were also told that we can kill Master Gong. And that would be very beneficial to us. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a clay golem. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. Real nice. Real nice. Beautiful. Vandaba. There's our clay golem. Looking all red and shit. Get the crane. Uh, retrieve the golem. Okay, that, that that's nice. Take your sweet time, please, game. Uh, I guess there was another golem there. Move the crane to the right. And... We're going to leave it here. We're going to leave that, and you'll see why later. I didn't do it the first time I played, uh, or recorded this, but you'll see why it's really useful later. Insert Phoenix Oil, so that we can sabotage. Uh, oh, okay, we should probably convince him to leave before we sabotage it. What do you want? I want you out of here. I need to relieve you at this post. You must leave the room. 
Is that so? Why should I step aside for a new blood acolyte? I have my own position to think about, and I will not be so easily replaced. Well, too bad. You're going to be. If you bring an order from Master Gang, I will relent, as he is my master too. Until then, I am not moving. Well, uh, your position depends on Master Gongs. I can raise him if there are no prying eyes. I see. The ways of the Order are mysterious and brutal. If an opening is created away from witnesses, all of us under him will benefit. I understand. Good. You better. I will tend to the golems that are being readied for the Jade Golem's command. I do not think I will be able to return to this room today. Ha 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 A thought occurs to me. If one opening raises us all, two openings will raise us further. Oh. If something were to befall the good master. Just something you might want to ponder. Yeah, everyone wants mas Master Gong dead. I keep on calling him Master Gong because I'm just an, a big idiot or something. Now let's put the phoenix oil in. Good! It's malfunctioned. Uh, apparently it had electricity in it. Kinda surprising. Um, oh, I forgot we had to fight these guys. Uh, not Dire Flame. You can only take them out with weapons. Uh, I think we've gone over that. We don't fight these guys a lot, but... Uh, if, you, if you haven't seen me fight these uh, clay golems... Or any golems for that matter, they can only be taken down with weapons. Not quite sure why. Doesn't make much sense to me. But, uh, you know, I I'm not going to question it. I didn't make this game. It's good enough. I don't need to deal with it, you know. Um, so now we're going to go talk to Master Gong and initiate Shin's thing, I think. Master Shin is coming to inspect the new slaves oh. in the. Okay, see you later. So we can go m meet him in the the initiation hall or whatever it's called. I'm not really sure. And uh, murder his face, because his face needs a big, big murdering. You know. I guess he was just behind me the whole time. All right, I see you. What's going on here? Where are my slaves? The golems require spirit shards. And where are my attendants? Delays and laziness will be repaid in blood. No one disobeys the orders of Shen. You are a scary fellow. I regret that there will be no slaves delivered today, Shen. You? You are Gang's new acolyte. I see what is happening here. You think to promote your master by threatening me. You are bold, but foolish. You thought to make me vulnerable by killing my attendants and emptying the hall? A miscalculation. I am a favorite of Grand Inquisitor Gia. You will die. No, you'll die. Okay, so this guy seems to think that we, being Sweaty Hong, are gonna die. Really? You do not know Sweaty Hong. He's just gonna do- oh, no, I guess- I guess he can't do a harmonic combo on him. Well, this this is kind of uh, it's kind of nice. You guys catch ball game last night? Okay, there we go. I don't have to fake small talk anymore. We're back in the game. Why am I not using the sword? That's the main tool of destruction. Oh my god! I just sliced his face off. Oh no, I didn't. Oh no! 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 Golems! No! 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 What? What are we? Rather, golems. Golems would be like Gollum from Lord of Ten Rings. These guys, these guys are golems. They hate it whenever you call them golems. So it's just an insult. I mean, I don't blame them. I, I would be pissed. I guess we just teleported over there. We broke the controls, but we still, wow, that is brutal. Just as brutal the second time as it is the first time. Yeah, look over there. The tragedy has reached my ears. Our respected Master Shin has met his end in a rather embarrassing fashion. Yeah, pretty embarrassing. If I do say I so myself. After hearing of his stumble. Gross. Perhaps it was the cold of the sanctum that made him careless and dulled his senses. 
Maybe, maybe. Open the press. No. Unfortunate. I will make certain he's dead, but not from too close. I don't want to share his tragically foolish fate. What? You don't trust me? You don't trust me? Yes, quite dead. How unfortunate. Well, you're gonna be Who's quite dead. Comrade, but I am distracted by thoughts of who will take his place. I think the choice is obvious. Yeah, it should be me. Um, but you know what? Yeah, go ahead. Walk down there. Walk down there, you bastard. Walk down there and drop it. Boom! <laughs> Woo! That was that was good. That that felt good. Master Gong is not a good guy. He's not our master. Whatever he thinks he is. I mean, look at him. He didn't. He just freaking got murdered. There's like a yellow bar on the ground. I don't know what that is. But you know, that felt good. Two birds with one golem. Both dead. Double nice. What's going on, Zoo? You are nearing your goal. Grand Inquisitor Gia keeps many secrets in the inner chambers. Enough to appease the princess and earn your way to the palace. But you may learn more than she wants to know. I know that I did. Many years ago. Oh, really? If you have something to say, say, Zhu, now is the time. You know that Master Li tried to stop his brother and failed. I was not there to witness that, so I only have the details that you are aware of yourself. Hui in Tian's Landing told you that in response to that act, Master Li's wife was condemned to death. She was with child at the time. This I know for certain. Wow. I was there. I was one of the elite ordered to kill Master Li's family. I would not want to own the guilt for such an act. I pity you. I pity the fool. That is a remarkable admission. Go on. Death's hand brought the order to kill the family. We were cowards if we could not see the wisdom of his order. It was the will of the Emperor. I could not question the orders. They could not be wrong. So you did it? You murdered my master's family? You needed to know my role. Even if you have not proven to me that you are any more thoughtful than those you pursue, I have secrets that will remain mine. Fair enough. So heed a simple warning. If your enemy begins to look familiar, it's not because they are changing. It took me a long time to learn that. I have little use for morals, but honor? I have seen what you will face. Seen his power. I ran once. I hope for your sake you have not shaken my resolve. Uh, alright. I, I don't think we could shake your resolve anymore. You seem pretty resolved. Uh, no, no. He, he seems like a big pussy. He's got no chance. I do want to change. Uh, I kind of want to change to Chai Ka and put him in attack. Because we haven't used him in attack since like the first time we got him and I kinda wanna show him off uh, I didn't use him in the first battle the first time I played it but uh, it's actually a tough battle coming up you there. but you, you'll see Master Gong's new Lotus Acolyte correct? Master Gong has kept Grand Inquisitor Gia waiting for too long where is he? um I don't know Master Gang and Master Jean Jean Shin have resolved their differences poorly. Fools. They had more important things to do than worry about their personal stations. My station is at risk if Gia does not get her Jade Golem. You were Gong's acolyte. You deal with this and get me the spirit shard I require. Since your master is dead, you may present it in the ritual. Okay. I already have it. I have the spirit shard now. Bring it to the doors of the inner chamber. Finish whatever business you have in this place. Grand Inquisitor Gia may alter your duties. Okay, alright, I see you, I see you. Okay, um, I don't think there's anyone we can talk to. Maybe, I didn't talk to her the first time. We might see if Please she has any new light. dialogue. I believe I was supposed to be your trainer, but given the rather remarkable deaths that have occurred, I'm sure you don't need my help. 
Uh, that, that wasn't me. I still have some training techniques and resources I can share, but we may as well dispense with formality. What do you need? Uh, do you... Oh, no. Goodbye, Echo. She has no new dialogue. That is a lying arrow over her head. I think we've done everything that we can do here. If not, it doesn't matter. We're going. There you are, Acolyte. I've been waiting for you, as has everyone involved in this ritual. The Jeez. The ritual must be completed tonight. It's been two seconds. Have the spirit shard? Very good, Acolyte. You're on the verge of being welcomed into the heart of the fortress. Have you completed all other business? Yes. Jesus. Let's proceed with the ritual. Good. Grand Inquisitor Gia will be pleased, I am sure. I hope so. I freaking hope so. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so huge. Oh my god. Preparations are complete. The spirit shard is prepared thanks to the skills of our newest Lotus Acolyte. Thank you. You are very fortunate to be welcomed so quickly into the heart of our order. Grand Inquisitor Gia will be pleased with you. I'm sure she won't. Now, we must complete the ritual. A score of clay golems stand idle without a focus. This jade golem will awaken them all, direct them as one. Insert the spirit shard. Let this legion of immortals give glory to our masters. Oh, they're going to be so surprised whenever it doesn't work. What is wrong? I command you. I demand that you obey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is brutal. All of the golems are going crazy. Oh no! Somehow they're making the place fall apart and catch fire! Good job! What is the meaning of this? Who has corrupted this Jade Golem? It is linked to a legion of warriors that now run mad. The Foundation will crumble. Uh, it wasn't me. Who are... you? Wait. I can sense it on you. You are the one. You carry the other pieces of the amulet. My gravest apologies, Grand Inquisitor Gia. This new acolyte has corrupted the ritual. Fool. So uh. blinded by petty schemes that you cannot see a threat in our midst. You are worthless. Your face blinds me. You, hidden in plain sight like your master. You caught us unsuspecting, but not unprepared. Who are you to think you could enter our lair so easily? I am sweaty freaking Hong. Uh... I am a weapon of vengeance. I seek the head of Death's Hand. No, uh, it doesn't matter what I am. I will defeat you. Defeat us? No. We are well insulated against your kind. Whether an invader, a conspirator, a traitor, we survive by seeing the enemy in everyone. That is why Death's Hand stands at the forefront of the assassins. He draws attention, diverts criticism, while the Emperor solidifies his power. You are like every other simpering peasant that has graced our dungeons. What did any of them contribute to the glory of our age before the Emperor dared to make something of them? Uh, well, you know, you have to have a workforce. Um, Sun Hai has done. He has taken the raw material of the Empire and extracted something useful. Uh, Gatorade bath. That must be some really... Oh man, that is some or bad Gatorade. That objects, or peasant that asks questions, another golem is forged, an army undying. But through all this, a threat remained, a traitorous sibling and a hidden protege. We did not know a face or a name, but we knew what they would need. The amulet, its pieces spread like petals to the wind. 
You have caught a few, but you are far from your peak. And not every golem was linked to this corrupted husk. Oh no. She's got backup. Goodbye, spirit monk. I will inform Death's Hand of your past. Oh no! They're big! They're really, really big! And they're gonna hurt us! No, they're not gonna hurt us. I mean, we just decapitated the hell out of that guy. This guy's already down to half health. Already down, pretty much. Yeah, already down. Don't need to worry about him. Uh, Chaika is completely useless. I kind of regret already taking him. Um, but you know, it, it doesn't matter. We don't need him. Because this guy's going down. Ow, I tried to dodge. Dodge! And swipe, swipe, swipe. Very good. We got a spirit shard. Uh, removed. Sorry. We didn't get a spirit shard. We lost a spirit shard. Oh, I'm healed. We got Legacy of Death's Hand. We could read that, but we're not going to. And we also, uh, if you guys saw, we gained a style that I would like to show off. Uh, where is it? I kind of clicked through it really quickly. The Jade Golem style. Let's look at the info. Uh, transformation style. Like the frog one and horse demon and all that kind of stuff. This style imbues the martial artist, yada yada yada. Basically, we turn into a towering jade golem. And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna actually equip it. Um, right now. Because, not in this episode, but in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be fighting Grand Inquisitor Gia. Because I don't think that I want this episode to go on too much longer. So... As always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.